from Ireland, uh, Duffy Sadi, and uh, number five from Israel, Artur Urninian. And Polska's boxed internationally in major competitions a couple of times as well in the in the Europeans, as I mentioned, in 2019. In the youths got a bronze medal in 2018 in the juniors. Got a bronze medal as well, and that's the lineup for the judges for this one. So she's experienced, Dan Polska, more experienced than Savitskaita. Alexander Kamadov of Uzbekistan taking charge. And boxing out of the blue corner, Karolina Ampulska, out of the red corner, Vilta Savaskaita. Whoever wins this one will go through to face Maria Martinez of Colombia. Seconds out, round one. So both of these two boxing out of the orthodox stance, Ampulska. Slightly shorter than Savaskaita. They both made a good, proactive, positive start here. And Pulska just looking to try and throw a feint with that front foot, seeing if she can draw something from Savaskaita. But these two look all business right in the early stages. On the borderline arrange there, and Pulska with a good right hand there. Got caught by right herself as she just looked to try and pull back. But of those two punches, the, the right from the pole was probably a little bit heavier. Left hand got through there too and just throws Savaskaita off balance. And, it's just good from Ampulska so far. That short right hand is working well for it. <laughs> Savaskaita is tall, does stand a bit tall. Ampulska using that, that lower centre of gravity pretty well so far. She needs to get up closer. And when she does get in tight, it's that right hand she looks for. Really shortens it up, doesn't really load up with it, just lets it go. Savaskaita trying to jab her way in. Caught not cleanly by the right hand there of Ampulska. She's got to try and get that jab working, Savaskaita. As Ampulska just walks in on her there, a stiff jab, she needs to snap it out. At the minute, she's just allowing Ampulska to walk in on it, walk her down. There's the jab, there's the jab. We need more of that from the fighter in the, in the red vest. Moves ahead nicely there, Ampulska, keeping those shoulders nice and loose. Jab followed by right hand, the right hand didn't land. Right hand did there though, it's not quite a right hand lead, but she throws it really, really well, just disguised it with the, with the left, throws it again there, and every single time she throws that right hand, she, she lands it. Because when she does jab Savaskaita, she brings her left hand back low, and she holds it low. You see there, she's kind of in the on-guard position, but the gloves just aren't up really protecting it. And that's a problem. Looking for the jab there, Savaskaita, and Pulska is bossing this at the minute into the final minute of round one. As I outlined, she's got plenty of, of international experience as a junior and a youth. And there goes that right hand again. There's no great mystery about that. Left hand from Savaskaita did kind of keep her off for a second, but she's, she's wearing some leather here, Savaskaita. And Ampulska is just swarming her. 30 seconds to go in the round and a standing count there from the referee. And you can understand that. And the head guard. It's just come a little bit loose there for Ampulska or one of the Velcro straps has just come come undone, I think. So final few seconds of round one, it's been a dominant round for Karolina and Pulska. There's the right hand again. And another one towards the conclusion of the round here. Savaskaita doesn't really have any answer to it. Every time it comes in, it seems to land right to the body. It was a decent shot there from Ampulska, and that is a very dominant opening round for the Polish fighter.
He's looking for the right hand all the time. You see, she's cocked and ready to go there at all times. She doesn't need a big wind up with it. There we go. That's very well thrown, that. Nice balance. Clips the chin. Another angle on it. She's taken these well, actually, Saviskaita, to be fair to her, but standing count in that first round. Judges and Ayuba Boxing are always looking to interpret dominance. That's what it's about, so... Seconds out, please. They can score rounds 10-8. 10-9, 10-7, 10-6. It just depends on how dominant two. they feel the fighter is. So into the second round. Feel to have a sky to Lithuania in the red. Gets caught with the right hand again there from Kalina Ampulska of Poland, who is in the blue. And there's that right too. And she just can't seem to do anything about it. So a sky to, I'm afraid takes a step back there and manages to pull back out the way but once again it just lands and the referee's going to step in with another standing count here she just lined up for that right hand to have a sky to and it's landing almost every time Ampulska throws it there it is again there's just no defense for it really Once more, it just comes crashing through, and, and Pulska is winning this fight comfortably. Maybe could get the stoppage here if she really puts uh, a sustained attack together, because this is only heading one way. Right hand followed by the left got through there for Anne Pulska. And there's another good clubbing right, and that's another standing count. And I think if the referee has to step in for, uh, for another standing count here, he might well wave this one over. And actually, that is exactly what he's done at the end of the round there. That's exactly what he's done. He's had a good look at Vilta Savaskaita as he's giving that count and decided that she didn't need any more of that. She's a good fighter, Ampulski. You can see here that she's nicely balanced, weight distributed evenly between those two feet. That right hand, as I said, is always there, ready to go. And when she steps in there, the jab really is just a rangefinder for it. It just pulls that right hand through. Ladies and gentlemen, in the ring B, the winner of this bout uh, by RSC from Blue Corner. Karolina Ampulska. So referee stopped the contest there, right at the end of round number two. And that sees Karolina Ampulska make it through safely to the next round of the women's bantamweight competition. And there she will meet Maria Martinez of Colombia. Now we're going to have a little bit of a, a break in ring B at this point because...